I think I just saw the best picture winner. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Tonight we're talking about 1917, but before we do, let's handle a little biz. First, if you're under 13, you don't want to be watching this. This is not for kids. Second of all, if you are not subscribed yet, please consider hitting that red button down below. If you love movie content, reviews, Blu-ray trips, and award season coverage, we are right in the heat of it, so you don't want to miss anything. Slam that red subscribe, the like, and leave me some comments. So let's talk about 1917, this epic war movie. It's about two British soldiers that have to get a message across enemy lines. And this is personal to one of the soldiers because it concerns his brother. That's it. Very simple plot. We don't need anything else. I have to say, I'm not big on war movies. A lot of people know this about me. I'm not huge big on history. I know bad of me to be. This is the truth though. Like when I went to see Dunkirk, I was so bored with it. I was like, when is this going to be over? It was so long and it just, it was not my cup of tea. With this movie, with 1917, I was so engrossed in it the entire time. And it is due to the directing style of Sam Mendes, how he chose with the continuity of one shot following the soldiers the entire time it felt like you were there. You were there with them. You were part of the two-person team going to deliver this message. You were the third person. And I just absolutely loved it. And that's what kept my attention. It was very much a suspense. Are they going to make it? Are they going to survive? What is going to happen? I didn't take my eyes off the screen one second. It was beautifully shot. Oscars for technical awards are going to be very plentiful for this movie. It has all of the elements, score, production design, costumes, even the acting of the lead character, George McKay. I don't know why he's being overlooked, probably because an epic war piece, more of the technical elements outshine the performances a little bit, but he deserves to be recognized and credited for his performance. It is absolutely amazing. Now, Oscar nominations come out tomorrow morning. Like I said, 1917 is going to dominate in technicals. I'm putting my money on it right now. It's going to win Best Picture. I don't know. I just have this feel. And I know that a lot of people say, well, if they win Best Screenplay, then they win Best Picture. I don't know if 1917 is going to even get in for screenplay, it's it, the screenplay isn't really something that like knocks your socks off. Not like Once Upon a Time in Hollywood or I don't know. That's the first one that comes to my mind. It's not on that level. But as far as the best picture, I don't think any of the other contenders possible can even compare to 1917. And this is coming from someone that loves Joker. Okay. Like I love Joker, uh, but I don't think it's going to happen. Like I'm putting my money on 1917. That's just me. It won best drama at the Globes as well as best director for Sam Mendes. So it does have that in its corner with the critics choice awards on tonight. It'll give us a little bit more clue on the roadmap of where we are going for the SAG and for the BAFTAs, and for the Oscars. So that is my wrap-up review of 1917. I absolutely loved and adored it. I highly encourage you to go and see this movie. And yes, I'm going to buy it on Blu-ray when it comes out. So thank you so much for joining me. Stay tuned for the channel. You don't want to miss my reactions to the Critics' Choice Awards. Thank you for all of my new subscribers. You are supporting me. I absolutely love it. I am a little nobody doing movie reviews and Blu-ray trips, and I just cannot thank you enough. So keep on subscribing. Keep on sending the love. I truly do love and appreciate every single one of you. All right. Thank you so much, guys, and I'll see you at the movies.